weight loss and our clients difficulties with weight can be a very complex topic there can be many causes that are creating the effect that can be emotional mental and now we can go into some of the spiritual ones past life regression isn't the first port of call for someone who's overweight they should have done much work physically emotionally mentally first if they're finding for whatever reason that they know everything they've done as much as they can and they're still not getting nearly results that other people do and there are a lot of people who follow a certain program and get good results there are some that follow the exact same program and for whatever reason don't really lose weight so that can be because there is a spiritual block and there can be a number of blocks so this is a more complex sort of generalization of the patterns that come there are going to be four types of presenting issues i take you through if you feel that any of them are relevant for you you can download the audio that's attached to this video that's going to take you through the past life regression process focused on the specific presenting issues that i'm going to identify for weight loss so watch this video and if you like it and find it's applicable to you you can listen to the audio afterwards and that will reinforce and take you through some of the principles I'm going to outline in this video. Within weight loss, there can be four subsets of patterns of presenting issue. People can come in with compulsive overeating, where they're consistently overweight and find it hard to lose weight. There can be binge eating, where they periodically overeat, but they may not actually be overweight. There can be yo-yo dieting, where they go through periodic feast and then famine. So the weight goes up and down, it fluctuates quite a lot. There can be self-sabotage, where people find that they know how to lose weight and they can do it, they just can't maintain it. Past life causes can be events in past lives and an overall lifestyle, a pattern from a past life that has a carrying over effect. So for compulsive overeating, there can be an event of death by starvation. For binge eating, there can be the imprint of an entire life of malnutrition where high calorie food is rare. For yo-yo dieting, there can be a pattern of a lifetime where the food supply is irregular. So when they have food, they need to eat and store excess of body fat. Self-sabotage can be a reaction to a past life where their weight brings a major secondary gain. The past life bond can be a vow in response to the past life events that becomes a suggestion that they carry forward. In the past life, it made sense and was helpful. In the present life, it does not make sense and is actively unhelpful. So compulsive eaters who starve to death may have said, I will never be hungry again. Binge eaters can say, I'll consume high calorie food whenever I can. Yo-yo dieting is, I'll eat as much as I can when I can. Self-sabotage is, I'll use fat as a protection and be less attractive. We can break the bonds of time in a mental limiting belief that was energized by a life or death event with intense emotion. And that's enough to carry the inappropriate vow forward as a residue from the past. We can break this inappropriate overreaction. So instead of compulsive eating, we can say, now it is safer to eat a moderate amount of food. Instead of binge eating, we can say, I eat high calorie food occasionally. Instead of yo-yo dieting, I eat the right amount of food consistently. Instead of self-sabotage, I no longer protect myself with layers of fat. I protect myself with healthy eating. We recognize the old frame of the causative issue and offer a new frame. For compulsive eating, we say, in your present life, you will not starve to death because of little food. In this time period, there is abundant food. Before you suffered from too little food, now you suffer from too much food. The solution to under-eating isn't over-eating, it's healthy eating. For binge eating, in that past life, high-calorie food was rare, so you could only find it once a week or once a month. So you ate high calorie food every time you found it. In your present life, high calorie food is common. You can find it every day. So now you don't have to eat it every time you find it. Your body was designed to find and eat high calorie food only occasionally. For yo-yo dieting, in your present life, you don't need to eat as much as you can when you can and store excess as body fat because in this time period, you can get the right amount of food consistently. 
There is no famine, so you don't need to feast and you don't need to store body fat for self-sabotage. In your present life, it's more acceptable and safer to be attractive. There's better law and order and better women's rights now. Any past traumatic events due to gaining unwanted attention are over now. You can give yourself permission to have the body appropriate for this time period. The new intention and action, when we take the resolutions into the present life, for weight loss it's more important to have a plan than most issues. And this is going to require constant action in their day-to-day -day life. So for compulsive eating we can say, your good intention is to eat to stay safe and not starve. Your new action is to eat a moderate amount of food, finding balance between eating too little and too much. It is safer to eat a moderate amount of food. You don't have to overreact to or fear hunger. For binge eating, we can say to our client, your good intention is to fulfill your body's need for calories. Before that meant eating high calorie food whenever you could find it. Now it means eating high calorie food occasionally. Now you eat the right type of food at the right time and feel at peace. For yo-yo dieting, your good intention is to respond to your body's requirements for food. Before that meant overeating and storing the excess as body fat. Now there'll always be enough food, so you don't have to overeat and store the excess as body fat. Now you eat the right amount of food and feel at peace. For self-sabotage. Your good intention is to get a gain, but your secondary gain was blocking and in conflict with your primary gain. Now you can decide on new actions that remove that contradiction. You figure out how to satisfy both areas directly in ways that are no longer contradictory. Now you allow yourself to carry less body fat, even if that makes you more attractive, and feel at peace of doing it.